What's up guys? Reefer at NYC back with another video. Today we're just going to do a quick update on the tank. Uh, I haven't done one in about a week or so. But yeah, just want to do a quick update on my new fish, my new corals, uh, and what's going on with both tanks. So let's get into it. Uh, as you can see, we've got the male Antheus right here. Super bully, aggressive. That's all good. I mean, my clownfish are bullies. My tang is bully. They're all bullies. So they've gone acclimated to the tank super well. Great that they're uh, all friends now. In the beginning, they're going after each other, but now they just live with each other now. So it's all good. We got the cleaner shrimp in the back over there. Uh, what else we got going on? So we moved the black torch on this side. Felt like it wasn't getting enough room over here, so we moved a little A can over there. We've got the Ganyapur. Yo, the red Ganyapur is like triple, double in size. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it's crazy. I'm going to have to move that somewhere. Um, if you leave in the comments where I should move it within this tank, or maybe I'll put it in the other tank behind me, uh, the water box. But yeah, let me know. Where should I move that? The bubble coral. Bubble coral has gotten huge as well. I might move it over to this side where it's a little bit less flow. As you can see, the flow on this torch isn't that much. So I feel like the bubble coral would fit perfectly over there. I'd probably do some hedging over here, cut over the Xenias. But otherwise, it's grown. It's grown huge in there. Uh, we have this hammer here. I've had this hammer for maybe about two years. It hasn't grown too much. It feels like it grows like a wall hammer. Um, it started off with two heads. Now it has like six or so, as you can see. Uh, but it hasn't really branched off or anything. It's just growing like really small heads. Um, so yeah, we have that hammer there. I feel like it needs more light, so I might have to bump it up a bit. Um, Cyphastria is growing all over that rock. Uh, super happy with that, hopefully. I don't know what this coral is. I got that in a package deal, uh, but I forgot what the name is. So if you know the name of that coral, uh, let me know in the comments section below. Uh, I think just in crest over everything. Um, Alivapora, my god, this thing is ginormous as well. It started off with a super small frag, maybe the size of this Duncan actually. And now you can see the, the tentacles are just growing out, they're going crazy. Uh, so it seems to be really happy over there. Uh, my cousin has one as well, and his is like super fluorescent green. Maybe like side, the color of this bubble, but mine's gotten like you know fluorescent green tips, but with like a darker green um, tentacles. So I don't know. Maybe it has to do lighting, flow. There's a lot of factors that goes into it. Uh, but yeah, obviously got the Xenias and waving hand Athelia. And we have the rose bubble tip anemone just chilling in the back over there. Um, trying to see if I can get a better angle. But obviously, it's pretty happy over there. Hasn't moved in a long time. Clownfish, as you know, um, I think every couple of weeks, a new batch of eggs keep getting laid underneath the, the toadstool over there. Um, so that's pretty cool seeing that happen. Uh, what else do we have here? That white patch over there did some fragging to a, what did I have over there? Rainbow, I forget, I forget what was that. If you know what coral that is, <laughs> did a bunch of frags of those. Uh, but yeah, also have the bird's nest, green's bird's nest, have the the red digi, uh, what else we have? And a bunch of just random SPS, so there got the green slimer and all the kind of stuff there. Got the Montes, of course, got the hammer back here. Hammer, I'm gonna have to frag up a bit. It's actually started taking over to the backside. I actually wanna move some to the other tank. Of course, we got some frags up there. No big deal. Gold torch. Uh, I need your guys' suggestions on it. So, as you can see, some of the tips are gold, but I think I can get more gold out of it if I move it to the top. Let me know if that affects the color of a gold torch. Um, but yeah, definitely wanna get more gold out of this, but it's doing really good on this tank. Um, it started off as one almost dying head, and now it's broken up to like maybe six heads in that. It hasn't branched off, but the heads are definitely multiplying in this uh, little colony over here. But yeah, that's about it for this tank. Uh, actually, I'm going to take you to the sump real quick. Uh, Alexa, turn on fish light. Okay, it didn't listen to me. Let me try it again. Alexa, turn on fish light. Why is it not listening to me? 
I don't understand. Let me try one more time. Alexa, turn on fish light. There we go. I don't know. Sometimes Alexa's kind of finicky. She don't want to listen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we have the sump here. I guess you got to top it off uh, before I leave on vacation. We've got the, uh, which one is this? The Marine Pure uh, block here. I, If you saw my other video, I had a piece of acrylic right here. Uh, I had that block there, but since I got the Marine Pure block, use that instead, uh, and it's been working well. So now the water flows down here and wraps around right into the skimmer. Skimmer is working wonderfully well. Uh, just cleaned it. If you saw my Instagram story, uh, just did a quick clean of the skimmer, run it through water, and wiped it all up. Uh, wiped the mount, wiped down the body as well. So yeah, that's all cleaned up. I eventually have to clean the return pump. It's a little bit dirty back there, but I'll get I'll get to it uh, once I get there. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got the Apex. We got Tunesy on the top off. J Bow return pump. Um, I want to do something with this item because it looks like a rat's nest, obviously. But, I mean, if it's not broke, don't fix it mentality. Uh, but I definitely want to figure out how do we clean up this section. Maybe it's controller board, maybe it's a smaller uh, reservoir. Who knows? We'll try to figure it out. Uh, my cousin, one of his friends, actually has a 3D printer. So he printed me a 3D printed stand for the, the pump. Uh, it's actually working pretty well. Uh, it usually, when I had it before, it was just like on the side and just like, just there. Now it's just like, it looks more professional, <laughs> I guess, uh, since now we have the 3D printed uh, stand for the pump. What else we got in here? Uh, as you can see, it got some Xenias growing in here. The Xenias was actually taking over the sumps, so I actually trimmed away and gave away a bunch of Xenias. Um, they're growing all over the skimmer, they're growing over uh, the plate and everything so um, as you can see it's growing perfectly fine in here um, there are actually big uh, polyps so uh, don't be fooled this uh, little cheap Home Depot light actually works to grow Chato and Xenia even the Chato's has taken off so if you guys need any Chato or Xenia you know just let me know and I'll happily get you a good price on those I know they're sort of sold out sold out everywhere uh, but yeah that's it for the reefer 250 man these guys are huge the anthea is as big as the tang um so now we're gonna jump to the water box 55 frag and here we are uh let's see updates on this tank uh not too many um try not to touch the tank as much oh what's going on with my hammer looks like it's spitting out some stuff or whatever it was perfectly fine before a minute ago. But basically trying to move some stuff around. I'm trying to clear out the frag racks, trying to get the sand as bare bottom as possible. Obviously, you know, when you're a reefer, you start to hoard corals. You start to buy every single coral that's out there, try to test it in your tank. Uh, yeah, I have that problem. It's okay. It's a good problem to have uh, to see what works in your tank. Uh, like I said, made some frags and put it into this tank. Uh, some new corals, got some acans. Shout out to New York Reef Aquatics in Bayside or Flushing. Uh, they have a really good deal on frags over there. Got some war crawls, some Fabia, some, what else we have? Uh, Zoas. But yeah, this tank is doing super well. We have it under the Illimagic, Delua Illimagic Blaze X60 uh, with the supplemental lighting as well. Super happy with these lights. Uh, obviously I don't have the white, I don't have the orange filter, so it's a little more blue, uh, on my camera right now, but everything's super happy in this tank. Um, I actually moved some tank, new, move, moved some frags, uh, into this tank from my other tank, um, because it wasn't lighting up to the color that I liked in that tank. So I moved to here and it actually colored up really nicely in this tank. Um, so I'm super happy with that. So. Uh, as you guys know, I'm going to be upgrading that tank in a bit uh, as far as lighting goes, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, these corals are, are actually really happy in here. I have some rescue corals in here uh, from other members' tanks that want to see if they can use my tank as a hospital tank uh, to see if their corals will get fixed or not. So some of them corals are in there. What else we have? Of course, we have Xenias. And 
I mean, look at that monster anemone in the back. Like, I don't know if you can tell, like, it's bigger than two of my hands, like, wide open. And if I can see, oh yeah, there's the clown. There's the clown, just like chilling over there. He's usually in the center of it. Uh, but yeah, he's just chilling there. Likes it up there. Glad that it has not moved. Even the front anemone, it hasn't moved since I first placed it in there. So super happy that it hasn't crawled around in anywhere. Uh, but yeah, the anemone is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So whoever is looking for a ginormous anemone, let me know. Might sell it, might keep it, who knows. Might frag it. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, what else do we have? We have, of course, we have the CJ pump in the back over there. Like I said we have the Illumagic Magic Lights. Of course, we have Squirtle, Lucky Cat, Feeding Ring. And let's jump to the bottom of the tank. All right. Obviously, powered by CJ. We got some Polyblad. We got some Algae Barn. Uh, let me turn on the lights real quick. Um, obviously, I have these on, I have these automated, but uh, I turned them off just to save some battery. Let me pop this one on if I could. So these batteries I got from Amazon, uh, they last about, why is this one not turning on? So they last about two weeks before they need a charge. Um, probably can go longer, but you know, it all depends on how many times you open up your cabinet, how many times the lights turn on. Um, but it basically charges via a quick mini USB-C, mini USB um, that they provide. Uh, so it charges real, real quick. All right, so into the sump, we have the E-Coral Doser, Dosing Trident. Uh, you see the lines jumping through there, goes into the return. Uh, here's like just the extra uh, chemicals that I didn't use, I could just pour it into there and it should be fine. Uh, we have the Delua Great White Skimmer. As you can see, super dark skim. No complaints there. We got the CHA return pump over there. Uh, we got the E-Coral water level. Keep an eye on things. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'm trying to get the CHA in there. CHA return pump. Uh, what else? Of course, the E-Coral light controller with the controller outlets uh, where you can tr control everything with the app through the app we have what else do we have we have the probes in here um, have some marine pure blocks in the cups so i replaced the filter socks with cups uh, i just had this extra piece of acrylic here but basically these are the red sea four inch cups that fit perfectly in there and then they have uh Marine pure blocks in them. Uh, what else can I say? Uh, the types of food that I feed. I've had these for all Nutrifin Max for a long time, but was just given these recently by Coral View. Uh, basically, these are like soft pellet foods. You see that? You see my light blinking? That basically says that my light needs to be recharged, uh, which is a cool indicator. So let me turn this one off. Real quick, cool. So these are like soft pellets. Um, I've never used soft pellets before, but got the opportunity to test these out and my fish love them, especially for like new fish or smaller fish that don't have wider mouth mouths or wide enough mouths to uh, eat these larger pellets or just like have the strength to chew on the hard pellets. Uh, these have been great. Like even the bigger fish love these too. So I just dump a bunch of these in. Let me open this one up for you real quick. Let me dump it there. So these are like super soft pellets. Um, they may look hard, but they're like soft to the touch. Uh, this is the one that I like the most for my fish. Oops. Yeah, these are super soft as well. I wish I could get a better. I don't want to pour it out on myself, but they're super fine, super. Um, small and soft so if you're looking to try another fish food for new fish that are finicky eaters or new fish that are coming into your system definitely give these a try these are an aqua forest AF protein power power and also let me screw this back on and this one is the aqua forest tiny fish feed 
highly recommend uh they're not paying me to say this they're not paying me to do any of this kind of stuff just highly recommend using these pellets i've used hard pellets for a long time um these have been super helpful in getting new fish just accustomed to the feeding schedule and just getting them to eat and as well uh obviously i love new life spectrum uh i've have a bunch of their food uh one millimeter pellets i have the garlic ones i have the Thera, is this the one? Is this the Thera one? Yeah. If I can find Thera A plus A, yeah, I'll use that. So yeah, New Life Spectrums. I have Aqua Forest ones now. Super great food. Um, do I feed Frozen? Not much. Maybe once a month. Um, not a huge fan of just like dumping food like that. Uh, but I mean, it helps. It works. Um, but yeah. Thoroughly enjoy using the Aqua Forest pellets uh, that were sent to me. Uh, what else do we have? But yeah, I think that's about it. Um, that's just a quick update on my tanks. Frag 55, we got the water box in the back. All the crawls looking super healthy. Frog spawn garden looking great. Nephthia is taking over that corner. Maybe I'll put the other Nephthia on this side just to make balance it out. Uh, but yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. As always, if you guys have any questions, any comments, any questions at all, if I can't answer them, the community can answer them. Um, but, yeah, leave it in the comments section below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.